Dude, what are you doing to my Hellcat? <laughs> Trying to take Beating it with a hammer. Unreal. Yo guys, we have completely changed directions on this project. My original plan was to fix the Hellcat up, but at JH's party, I got a little inspiration from another YouTuber and some people might give me a hard time because I'm copying him, but I could care less. At JH's, when I ripped it around that dirt track, I went back and parked it and Ryan and I were talking. He's the owner operator of Superior Auto Repair up in Bradenton. He's like, dude, let's put some all trains like mud tires on that thing. And I was like, dude, we should lift it. I know Weston Chaplin has done like a full frame off and like Ooh. four link and like bigger axles and stuff, but we were able to get our hands on like a three inch lift. So Ryan has already installed the lift and I'm gonna show it to you guys. It's up in the area right now and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do because we got a couple more mods before we're able to rip this thing. So Ryan measured out some tires that would fit on the stock wheels and also clear the wheel wells. We do have to bend some metal out of the way, but we were able to get this lift on and it's just a three inch spacer that sits underneath the spring here on this side and it's over here on this side as well. So the back end is already done. The only thing we have to do in the rear end is reconnect the rear brake lines because those have been disengaged and since we've got a lot heavier tire on the car, definitely gonna want those rear brakes. So when we mounted up the front tires on the car, we were having an issue where it was hitting the upper ball joint. And so right here, the tires rubbing really bad. Like I'm talking a couple inches into the tires. So we have to do something about these spindles here. Ryan and I weighed a couple of options. You can either buy a set of spindles that are already extended. They do sell them, but they're like $900. And then he was like, well, why don't we do, we could also just cut them and extend them here locally in Florida and then put them back on the car. And I was like, that would be perfect because then I can get a used set for when I want to return the car back to normal once we're done kind of doing some fun rally stuff with it. So they are currently removing the spindles and we're going to extend it probably two or three inches. And that will give us enough clearance so that we could run these bigger tires. We got Corey over here working on the right front, getting this spindle off. He said that all the ball joints, everything's looking really good and healthy as it is. And uh, already, you guys already got the lifting up here, right? Yep. Yep, that spacer is already sitting on top of this cast shock spring assembly here. So just getting the uh, spindles pulled off and that way we can get them extended. So after the burnout at JH's, there is a little bit more damage on the car than we started with. So I'm gonna show that to you. We have some paint that got ripped off here, which just down to the metal, which is fine. Obviously this is just all rubber. Looks like the cords took off the paint here all the way around. I mean, I knew the car needed to be painted anyways because uh, it's like five different colors of red. But check this out. This is the worst damage is on the left driver's side rear quarter panel. The cords from the tire when it exploded all under a clip right here. But the cords came around and started smacking this rear quarter and chipped off all the paint in this area. And then it also chipped off a big chunk here and check out how much Bondo there is. Clearly this car has been worked on several times, which I already kind of knew. I never really looked at the accident report, but I just assumed that there was, it had been in a couple wrecks. But yeah, she's really getting a beat down. And uh, you know, we're gonna have to fix all this stuff once we return the car back to normal. I mean, it's still it's got its general shape. I don't. I really don't know what to do here. If we're gonna have to replace this panel, or if, or if they can just put more Bondo in there, I'll talk to a body shop about getting it right. But hopefully, it survives the off-road trips to come. This is gonna be pretty cool. I don't think it's gonna rub up under here or anything. It looks like we've got good clearance. Cobra. There's my Cobra. Check that thing out. Okay, so where do they cut it normally? Like about right there. That I'm not sure. That would be a Brad question. Brad, where are they gonna cut this spindle at? Just right here in the neck, where it's straight. I'm not sure. Oh, are you videoing right now? Yeah, <laughs> dude, I'm putting you on. Uh, we're gonna do something right here. And try, don't look at my nose hairs, man. <laughs> yeah, probably somewhere where it's straight. Somewhere it's straight. Somewhere in here where it's straight. Well, it'll yeah. be like two or three inches? Or I think two. They measure it, you guys measure two. it out, you just kind of yeah. eyeball it. No, we gotta do some math, but yeah, two inches. Some redneck math? Yeah. We're putting this tire on just so that we can roll it back for a picture and you can see that this upper ball joint 
is contacting the tire here. So, you know, we want to have enough clearance here so that it's not rubbing on the tire with the lift that's been put in here. All right, we just rolled this thing outside. I got to show you this. Ryan, what's your initial thoughts? Um, I wasn't very into it at first, but it's kind of cool. It was your idea. I mean, yeah, you know, <laughs> whatever. All right, here she is. Dang, I love it. It's so perfect. It's it's not like a crazy lift. But it'll be super sick to rip off road. You think we can jump this thing? I don't see why not. I think we can. So really, all we have left to do is extend the spindles and the brake lines, and then she's dialed. Yep, ready to go. All right, guys. So obviously, we have some bad to the bone Hellcat content coming out soon. Hopefully, within the next couple of days and this weekend. So we're gonna get to work on this thing, get it fixed up so that it's perfect to rip. Ryan knows where to mark this thing. We were just talking about that before he got back. Right where it goes straight, eh? Yes, sir. And cut it right in half. Are you yep. doing that? Yep. Oh, boy. Two and a half inches. Bearings are still good. Oh, you know what, dude? I actually have other studs at home which I should probably switch out. Perfect. Piece of metal. You want to hold that up there, and we'll just we'll just tack it on there. Yeah, let me get the welder. <laughs> he actually went and got the welder. I wasn't kidding. You weren't kidding. For anybody that hasn't seen this car yet, it's on a Holly Dominator. It's got a four and a half liter Whipple supercharger, pistons, rods, cam. Whole engine's been gone through. Be the whole engine's been gone through because I locked up the supercharger during a. A burnout one time and we thought hey if we're gonna build this thing let's build it right so we this engine is super beefy yeah we've got a bigger pulley on here but it's good for what, what i do i do a lot of burnouts with it there's no reason to make a ton of boost and uh yeah the car's been pretty heavily modified but it is a piece of crap and has a ton of miles but i don't really care it's just a fun screw rod car so there's tons of more hellcat content to come make sure you guys subscribe like leave me a comment and we'll see you tomorrow Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker's 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.